Hello, everybody. This is Pastor Phil with Full of Life Ministries. Today's message is entitled Class Personified. Proverbs, the 11th chapter in the third verse tells us, it says, if you do the right thing, honesty will be your guide. But if you are crooked, you will be trapped by your own dishonesty. Have you ever hung a picture on a wall and it happened to be a little crooked, a little off? <laughs> if you allow the picture to stay in its current location, every time you walk by that picture, eventually you would do something about it, right? And fix it. But the stark reality in this self-aggrandizing self-centered, self-absorbed, and self-promoting world that we live in. Selfish behavior is considered to many a great way to become recognized as unique, special, a joy to all, provides great comedic value. And we also have controversial figures using the various platforms to promote their agenda and create a following that is considered radical. But many of these individuals doesn't fully recognize the responsibility that comes with this position. Individuals who operate with class are those whose purpose in life is to demonstrate a quality that is connected to God's moral standards. And this class of people in God's eyes isn't connected to a location or based off of your current status. It has nothing to do with the type of people or affiliation you hang out with. Neither does it have to be about building a following, building a brand. You see, this is not about how many likes you receive or how many people subscribe to your YouTube channel. <laughs> this type of individual I'm referring to is the epitome of class and grace. Now listen, Colossians, the fourth chapter in the sixth verse gives us a glimpse of a person that operates in class. It says, be pleasant and hold their interest when you speak the message, choose your words carefully and be ready to give answers to anyone who asks questions. How does a person of class hold the interest of someone who is looking for help, looking for answers, looking for salvation in Jesus, looking for stability, looking to break free from being in a bad relationship, searching for a way out of the mess that they're currently in. The answer is being a person of class. You see, being pleasant is a man or woman whose qualities are friendly or easy to like. A pleasant person is one who is polite or agreeable. A person who's of class, have good manners, gives compliments and smiles. They often are considered more pleasant than someone who screams and curses all the time. <laughs> Colossians, the fourth chapter in the sixth verse also states that a person of class use their words wisely. Your words do matter. What you say can and will bring in an atmosphere that can either bring hope or it could bring destruction. Proverbs 18 and 21 says, those who love to talk will experience the consequences for the tongue can kill or 
nourish life. And Proverbs 13 and 3 says, those who control their tongue will have a long life. A quick retort can, re can ruin everything. You see, people of God, the world would sell you that class is more of a outward demonstration that exudes confidence. A person who is considered articulate, a man or a woman who handles challenges properly by not panicking, but find solutions to problems that appear to be difficult. They act in a manner of class. Now listen, I believe that many of these characteristics are God-given. But today or tonight, I want for my listeners from around the world to know that we have to understand and realize that there is a standard that God wants for us to live by. Just the outer appearance doesn't make one classy. The inward gift of class is what defines a person and is needed in today's world. It is God's light through us towards mankind has to eliminate, I'm sorry, illuminate and radiate to those who need to be inspired. And our future will become much brighter when we allow God's class of people to lead the way for change to take place. First, Samuel 16 and 7 tells us, it says, the Lord told him, the Lord said, Samuel, don't think Eliab is the one just because he's tall and handsome. He isn't the one I've chosen. People judge others by what they look like, but I judge people by what's in their hearts. You see, in this verse, Eliab, the eldest son of Jesse, the first potential king of Israel, the eldest brother of King David, was considered a fit successor to Saul. He was tall and had fair features about himself. However, God told Samuel that Eliab did not have the proper heart to be king of Israel. In short, he wasn't a person of class. God is our ultimate judge because he knows our heart. Doing the right thing and being a person of integrity requires effort and consistency. Even when the temptation tries to lure you into a trap that most of us will likely will not be able to get out of. God has given us the gift to always remain classy, to always take the high road, to live by God's truth, for his truth will make you free. John 8 and 32. People of God, we live in a world with a lot of crooked, dishonest people in it. They're everywhere. <laughs> and I'm here to encourage you to remain classy because the person of class, the honest man or woman understands doing the right thing is the only way to live. In 1 Peter, the second chapter, verses 9 through 12, is our anthem for living for Jesus and walking and operating in class. It says, but you are God's chosen and special people. You are a group of royal priests and a holy nation. God has brought you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Now you must tell all the wonderful things he has done. The scripture says, once you were nobody, now you are God's people. One time, no one had mercy on you. Now God has treated you with kindness. 
It says, dear friends, you are foreigners and strangers on this earth. So I beg you not to surrender, not to surrender to those desires that fight against you. Always let others see you behaving properly, even though they may still accuse you of doing wrong. Then on the day of judgment, they will honor God by telling the good things they saw you do. Oh, what a wonderful word. People of God, make your light shine so others will see the good you do and will praise your Father in heaven. Today, people of God, I want you to be encouraged. I want you to be inspired. I want you to be empowered to know that God has called you out of darkness into a marvelous light. Be that person of class. Be encouraged today, and I want you to continue to keep shining. And thank you for listening and tuning in each week to our Full of Life Ministries podcast. Email us at fulloflifesd at gmail.com. If you'd like to give to this ministry, please dollar sign, full of life, last two letters, capitalize, S-D. You can find us on Instagram. You can find us on Twitter. You can find us on our YouTube channel. Please support this ministry. Pray for us as we pray for you. We love you with the love of Christ. Thank you for your support. God bless you, and let's continue to do this in Jesus' name. God bless everybody. Bye-bye.